Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and Above AVL. And in this video, we want to just walk you through the configuration on screen on a Novastar KU20 processor. These are a very popular, uh, really awesome processor, kind of an entry level LED processor that is really easy to use. And that's really what sets it apart across the older ones or the more generic brand ones is it's just so easy to use, it's well priced, it has HDMI input, which is what you know most people use. And so let's walk through some basic setup on how to map this wall behind me to this processor. So I'm gonna go sit down in front on the close-up and just walk you through the settings. Okay, so the first thing you see, uh, if you click into the menu here, is you are going to see uh, the brightness at the top. So go take that and turn that way down, right? For most events, most shows included here in the studio, we're gonna kick that way down. Oops, and I see that our camera there is on autofocus. So we'll take a quick break and then we'll be right back. When you get a Novastar processor out of the box and hook it up to a screen for the first time, every panel is the first panel and they're all going to show the same thing. In fact, if I go find my mouse on that screen, I should be able to get my mouse on it somewhere. Whoop. Yep. So as you can see, I can get my mouse on it and show you that uh, the screen is exactly the same uh, every spot. And so we got to fix that first. So first thing to do is go to screen configuration. Real nice and simple. Okay. Got you there. Yep. Beautiful and swift layout then it tells you that you're going to wipe your settings yep then we take our rows so we got three rows today two columns and then it says port one cabinet quality so that's how many led panels are plugged into the first port okay um, in this case six uh, and the key with this setting this is kind of a weird one is your first port uh, you basically want to do your ports evenly so you know, first, second, and third ports all have the same amount of, of LED wall panels on them. If you can't do that, then, and it's not quite even, then the first port gets the most, okay? And then the other few are the same and, or less, okay? And that's how that's going to work so that it, it works correctly. Of course, you could always download the VMP software and uh, work with it there, and, and that works great as well. But for just, you know, simple settings here, we're going to go here now to layer settings, first of all. It shows me here the canvas size, which is currently 1481 by 864, um, the layers on. It's on custom scaling mode, and I'm going to set it to the exact size of my wall because then the layer matches the size of the wall, and that usually makes sense. Um, so let's just take it down to 504. You'll see your wall do crazy stuff. Oh, actually, we didn't finish before. <laughs> so I'm going to take my wall, and then I'll show you the step that I got lost on. Oops. 504 by 336 is what this wall is, so everything gets scaled a bunch. I um, mean, you can see when I make it this 504 by 336, what happens is it sizes the window exactly from my computer to the wall. Now, that being said, I didn't set in the mapping. So back to screen configuration, swift layout. I didn't set the data flow, uh, and this is the wiring view from the front. So go and find the one that works, which, how did I wire this thing? I went, I thought I did this. <laughs> From the front, be right. I thought that's how I wired it, but now I got to check it because it looks like I messed something up. So be right back. All right, so everything actually was wired the way I thought. I just don't know what rows and columns are. And so that is why it didn't work right. So boom, just like that, I set my quantities and then going to the layer settings, I take my canvas size in the layer, set it to custom, set it to exactly what my wall is. And then on the input settings, HDMI, I'm gonna set the EDID. Um, you can set it to standard or custom. Essentially, we'll pop back into the camera for fun. Essentially, the difference between standard or custom is whether it takes a standard, you know, widescreen or four by three format that you have with monitors or whether you dial in one that's pixel to pixel. So you can dial it in the HDMI to this 504 by 336 for this small wall, for example, to the exact dimensions of your wall. Um, when you plug in a computer, 
it will then recognize it as a monitor that is exactly that size. Generally works pretty well. In this case though, I just took 1024 by 768, downscaled it to the size of the wall. It also tends to work really well. Things get a little smaller, you know, there's pros and cons to both approaches, but hey, now you watched a simple, what are we, at seven minute video, and you've learned the basics of setting up scaling on a KU20, getting an awesome image that looks great on your LED wall. And so how easy is that? If you need help finding the right LED wall or anything else, lights, stages, audio, video, we're your, your people. We're in stagelightinggear.com and above AVL. We love to help people. We help tons of people every day find the right things, get their personalized price, and get that gear in your hands. If that sounds good to you, visit us online, hit up our contact form, and check out our other videos here. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy playing with your video wall. I mean, working, working, working with your video wall. Thanks.